हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज गैप जंक्शंस और कम्युनिकेटिंग जंक्शंस व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द थ्री फंक्शनल क्लासेस ऑफ सेल जंक्शंस द रिमेनिंग टू आर टाइट जंक्शंस एंड एंकरिंग जंक्शंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू सेपरेट इन डेप्थ वीडियो ऑन टाइट जंक्शन एंड एंकरिंग जंक्शन इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव मैंशन द लिंक ऑफ द वीडियोज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो गो थ्रू इट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्री थिंग्स अबाउट गैप जंक्शंस नेमली फर्स्ट structure of gap junction second regulation of gap junction and third functions of gap junction now let us first understand a short introduction and structure of gap junctions if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads now let us continue with the remaining part of the video many cells communicate with the adjacent cells through direct connections called communicating junctions in this junction a chemical signal passes directly from one cell to another communicating junction that link the cytoplasm of two cells together permitting small molecules or ions to pass from one cell to another in animals these direct communication channels between cells are called gap junctions in plants they are called as plasmodesmata now let us understand the structure of gap junctions structure of gap junction communicating junction called gap junction are composed of structure called connexons complex of six identical transmembrane proteins called connexin each connexon is arranged around a central opening or annulus that is 16 am strong in diameter at extracellular surface the proteins in connexons are arranged in a circle to create a channel through the plasma membrane that protrudes several nanometers from the cell surface a gap junction forms when the connexons of two cells align perfectly creating an open channel spanning the plasma membrane of both cells gap junction provide passage ways large enough to permit small substances such as simple sugar and amino acid to pass from the cytoplasm of one cell to that of the next yet small enough to prevent the passage of large molecules such as proteins the connexons hold the plasma membrane of the paired cells about 4 nanometer apart in marked contrast to the more or less direct contact between the lipid bilayer in a tight junction gap junction can put a large number of cells of a tissue into intimate cytoplasmic contact this has important physiologic consequences because a number of highly active regulatory substances such as cyclic amp and inositol phosphates are small enough to fit in gap junction channels as a result gap junction have the potential to integrate the activities of the individual cells of a tissue into a functional unit now let us understand the regulation of gap junctions regulation of gap junction gap junction channels are dynamic structure that can open or close in response to variety of factors including calcium ion and hydrogen ion normally the calcium ion content of the cell are low and the permeability of the channel is high if the intracellular calcium ion concentration increases the permeability is reduced when the calcium ion level reaches a certain limit the channel closes and they open again if the normal calcium ion concentration is restored this gating serves one important function when a cell is damaged its plasma membrane often becomes leaky ions in high concentration outside the cell such as calcium ion flow into the damaged cell and shut its gap junction channels this isolates the cell and so prevents the damage from spreading to the other cells closing of the channel may occur in one of the halves of the gap or in both each one has a shutter mechanism that can be activated independently by calcium ion the regulation of gap junction is dependent on the energy provided by oxidative phosphorylation now let us understand the function of gap junctions functions of gap junctions gap junction has four important function 
first gap junction provide direct intercellular communication by allowing the passage of molecules up to molecular weight of 1300 to 1900 daltons second in cardiac muscle and in the synapses of neurons the gap junction are related to conduction of electrical signals between the cells third there is a passage of metabolites such as nucleotides sugars vitamins etc from one cell to another this gives rise to the phenomenon of metabolic cooperation between cells this helps in the cell growth and differentiation and therefore gap junction are particularly widespread during embryonic development fourth metabolic cooperation was first demonstrated in cell culture of fibroblast where the macromolecules such as enzymes and rna do not pose between cells through gap junction this helps the cell to retain the characteristic macromolecules within nucleotides are easily transferred